Time is a precious and a limited commodity. Owning your time means that you are in 100% control of the time that you have, which means you choose what you do with that time. True luxury is able to own your time, said Aston Kutcher. So today I want to share with you a few time monsters and tricks that can help you overpower them so that you can own your time. And if this topic interests you, keep watching. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. My name is Aparna, I am a certified coach and every week I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. And if this interests you, do consider subscribing to my channel and while you're there, do not forget to hit the bell icon so you're notified every Thursday when I post a new video. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I hope you're enjoying the theme on managing your time effectively and the videos that I've posted on this topic so far. We're talking about time monsters today and few tricks that you can use to overpower them. And the first one on my list is procrastination. What do you do when you are procrastinating? Procrastination is a thief of time, they say. Which means we delay things until the very last moment and then finish up hurriedly so that we can meet our deadline. Honestly, I think all of us have, have faced this at some point or the other in our lives. So one of the tricks I use to beat procrastination is to create a shorter deadline before your actual deadline so that you can finish up your tasks. This really worked for me, so I urge you to try it. Bailey said, the really happy people are those who have broken the chains of procrastination. Those who find satisfaction in doing the job at hand. They are full of eagerness, zest, productivity. You can be too. If your time monster is too many work in progresses, this stems from the fact that you say too many yeses. Saying yes to everything is your biggest time monster, which derails you from your focus. So the trick here is to say no whenever possible. Decide if that scheduled meeting that you were to attend today is even necessary. And don't take up anything new until you're done with your old tasks. Warren Buffet said, the difference between successful people and very successful people is that very successful people say no to almost everything. If your time monster is conflicting priorities. Conflicting priorities promote overload. When people are unsure of their priorities and start doing many things at the same time, it increases in the risk of delaying everything. Conflicting priorities actually increase your procrastination. So the trick to beat this is through a clearly defined prioritization of tasks for yourself and your team. Always focus on high value activities. You can use Eisenhower box methods to help you in this. Stephen Covey said, the key is not to prioritize what's on your schedule, but to schedule your priorities. If your time monster is unplanned work, don't we all have these in our lives? Unplanned work, whether it's professional or personal, are contingencies that require attention and time. They prevent you from finishing up something and waste a lot of time. So the trick to beat unplanned work is obviously scheduling it within your plan. Plan your contingencies so you're not surprised when they pop up. If plan A doesn't work, the alphabet has 25 more letters. If your time monster is miscommunication, why did I call it a time monster? Miscommunication is a failure to get your point across or lack of clear communication. So much time is lost in this. If we can only articulate our thoughts and communicate well, we'll save a lot of time and effort in clarifying it. The trick to beat this obviously is to be very, very clear in your message firsthand itself. Use tools such as rephrasing, paraphrasing or emphasizing so that your message is delivered clearly and is understood the way it's meant to be. Khalil Gibran said, between what is said and not meant and what is meant and not said, most of love is lost. That's it from me. These are the five time monsters I've identified and tricks that I shared can absolutely overpower them. Now you may have some more. I'd love to hear your feedback on them or your own or your suggestions and any other time monsters that you've been struggling with and your remedies for it. Would love to know about them. Do leave it in the comment section below or reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. And if you like this video, 
you find this video resourceful do give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe and also hit the bell button so you're notified every week when i post a new video thank you so very much for watching i'll see you next week bye